and instead of giving the charges on a straight line I'm going to give you three charges at a triangular relationship so let's consider this triangle so I have three charges uh, so let's uh, this is Q3 this is Q2 this is Q1 Q1 is negative 86 microcoulomb Q2 is 50 microcoulomb Q3 is 65 microcoulomb the distance let's write down the distance the distance is 60 centimeter 30 centimeter and 52 centimeter what do we want to find net force at q3 due to q1 and q2 now make an educated guess i'm going to give you four choices and you're going to make a guess which one would be correct all right so let's uh, let's do that this is I'm going to call this one A, I'm going to call this one B, I'm going to call this one C, and I'm going to call this one D. And in the center, this one is Q3, this is Q3, this is Q3, this is Q3, and this is also Q3. So this Q3, will experience a net force what would be the direction of that net force would it be this one or this one or this one or this one okay we're going to make a prediction is going to be this one <coughs> now let's help, help you understand why it is going to be this one so f31 is equal to k q3 q1 over r squared k is 9 times 10 raised to 9 q3 is 65 times 10 raised to negative 9 by the way this is the magnitude and this is q1 would be 86 times 10 raised to negative 9 negative 6 it's a micro coulomb so it's negative 6 negative 6 and negative 6 divide by this one is 0.6 meter this one is 0.3 meter and this one is 0.52 meter so 0.6 so 0.36 so F31 would be 9 times 65 times 86 divided by 0 0.36 times 10 raised to negative 3, which is 140000 0, 0, 0, 0, times 10 raised to negative 3. So F31 is equal to 140 Newton. Now you're going to do f32 so f32 is also okay q3 q2 over r squared so 9 times 10 raised to 9 q3 65 times 10 raised to negative 6 and q2 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 divide by 0 0.09 so what do you get f32 9 times 65 times 50 divided by 0 0.09 times 10 raised to negative 3 so f32 is 
325. 1, 0, 3, 0 times 10 raised to negative 3. So 325 Newton. Okay, now we're going to consider that point and we're going to call, of course, this is Q3. And at Q3, we're going to draw a coordinate plane. We're going to call it X and we're going to call it Y. We're going to say this is, pl uh, this is plus minus this is plus plus, this is minus plus, and this is minus minus. All right, so now let's go over here and try to understand Q3 and Q1 is attractive. Is it because Q3 is positive and Q1 is negative? So there is an attractive force between these two. All right, so which is this line? Now, Q3 and Q2, there is a repulsive force acting between these two, and that is the repulsive. So that would be the repulsive. That would be the repulsive. Okay? So now we're gonna do head and tail. So let's bring this one over here. And let's bring this one over here. All right. So this is not the best place to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one, red one, on the top of the purple one head. So this is the leg of the F31. So this is that. So now this is what we are looking for. And this is the direction. We say that this is B. And notice that that one and this one are the same direction. Now we have to find the magnitude of this blue line. How can we do that? You see the red vector has two component, x component, f31x, and y component, f31y. So let's find them. So f, f31, f32, f31x, f31y, F32X, F32Y. F31 is, of course, this is 30 degree, this is 60 degree, so this must be 30 degree. So F31X. F thirty one X is you have one forty, so one forty cosine thirty, one forty sine thirty, and this is three twenty five cosine zero, three twenty five cosine ninety, and three twenty five cosine zero. This one is zero, this one is 325, this one is 70, and this one is 121. Now notice that this one is 70, this one is 70, and no, no not this one, the, 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 this one is not 70, this one is 70. So this one is 70 and this one is 121. 
All right, so this one is going to be subtracted from this purple line. The purple line is unchanged. It's 325. So 325 minus 70. Three, 325 minus 70. So it's 165, no, 265, 5, vital, plus 265. So 325 minus 70 is 265, so we're going to do it here. So this one is 265, and this one is 121. So this is the resultant. Okay, so this is the resultant. Resultant is f is equal to the square root of 265 squared plus 121 squared. That's the answer.